hello friends welcome to my channel today we are going to learn very interesting topic laravel mix and how to optimize code and improve the application performance using laravel mix uh, first of thing what is the laravel mix laravel mix is a tool for compiling and optimizing assets in laravel application and it's sim similar to gulp and grunt right uh, laravel mix is a specific for laravel but you can use it externally as a npm package in other applications and projects you can easily compile ses and less into CSS using Laravel mix so you can use CSS in Laravel with Laravel mix also you can minify your JavaScript and you can copy all the assets from resource to any other directory using Laravel mix so today I take one open source project and explain the how to optimize the code and improve the performance of application here is open source project InfiTracker which is developed by Infium Labs uh, this application manage the your small team and user can track is time so I clone this project and try to explain how to use Laravel mix and how to optimize the application performance first of thing we include some CDNs which are externally we are using for example SARTs and uh, any jQuery plugins so let's reload this application and i show you the some external css which is used in this project uh, for example chart.js this js only used in this dashboard screen not any other module but when we click on any other module chart.js load every time because right now I add this chart.js in app.blade but originally not in app.blade in this project but I change it uh, for the example so let's open the app.blade file and you can see here I added this CDNs in the dashboard uh, dashboard JS into the app file so every time this CDN loaded moment JS, chart JS and date picker everything in all the modules but if we add this JS only in dashboard then this JS only load in dashboard module so uh, every time no need to load this JS and application page load faster because uh, no need to load the this JS so let's remove this JS from here and let's open the dashboard file and let's uncomment this JS and CSS uh, we can apply JS and CSS at page level we create one yield function and inject in app.blade file using this yield function so we can easily edit here so let's uh, remove this dashboard CSS from here as well and uncomment the code from here so 
so now this is right now at page level so let's refresh the dashboard and you can see here chart.js is load in dashboard let's go to the next module and you can see here now chart.js file is not loading in this module so uh, first thing you need to remember uh, only inject the CDN at page level instead of the root level so only load that JS at page level so other page are load faster little bit so this is the first thing or oh, second thing is you can see here custom script js is loaded and its size 110 kb and taking 63 milliseconds and let's open custom script and you can see here this file in this file uh, around 3000 line of code so uh, we need to uh, find these functions and other methods very complex in this file I inject in the app blade so it's load 3000 line in every screen and this is not good so in this project uh, divided this code and inject the all the javascript at page level and you can see here all the assets and js all custom scripts uh, written in separate file for separate module and inject in the separate module you can see here the dashboard js three separate js created and inject here so this code only inject in this specific screen and load in this specific screen so uh, while executing time no need to compile more JS and more JavaScript so page loading faster so uh, let's remove this custom dot script from the this file and I show you some improvement I inject here so let's remove from here and uh, let's keep this file and just remove the dashboard JS let's refresh the page and you can see here the custom script size is decreased but still taking 63 milliseconds because size is long and in this module in dashboard you can see here some dashboard js loading here dashboard.js and its size very small 9.2 kb and take 26 millisecond so let's remove other css and uncomment the code from the department and other modules i remove from this file the department related js and let's open department js you can see here the a small amount of code in department js let's open the department index file and let's uncomment this code and let's open the 
department in this application and let's load it and you can see here the custom script size decrease and department just taking 7.8 kb so custom dot script is divided in small small file and load small small file in every screen 7 kb 8 kb and take 11 millisecond 20 millisecond based on size of that modules javascript so uh, you can uh, easily find this js and you can easily change it and it's not lots of the line code and uh, custom script is only common functions and common javascript which is used in across the application that method only declare here so small line of code in custom script and your common script and other module wise script is uh, uh, separate and you can inject in your file so this is the uh, one way to you can optimize your code and uh, your code is neat and clean and uh, take a small of time while application is loading so first point is inject the cdn as page level create separate javascript file and inject your in module so two things you need to remember for optimize uh, code and uh, improve the performance of your application uh, next thing is a laravel mix and you can see the webpack dot mix dot js provided by laravel mix and uh, you can uh, copy directory from a resource to in public you can use copy directory functions if you want to copy any file that time you can copy the uh, any file using copy uh, methods and next one is a sass a laravel makes provide a very easy way to con compile the sass into css so you can use says in your laravel application using laravel mix and uh, you can assign the version so laravel mix what uh, doing here uh, created one version and uh, uh, when your application is load uh, it's a load with one version so uh, it solve your caching problem you can see here now all the js file loading from the cache but when you uh, make any change in js and uh, you load the application it's not tag from the uh, cache and it's uh, load from the uh, latest build uh, you can see here also you minify and uglyify your javascript using dot js and you also assign the version uh, let me show you in app.blad how to inject the compiled file you can see here i inject custom.js using mix method so this mix method is a uh, load custom.js with version uh, let me show you here uh, view page source and you can see here one id injected in the custom.js file so when you make a new build this id is changed so uh, this is a new URL and not taking from the cache so you can easily solve your caching problem using laravel mix so you just need to write version method after of this uh, assets 
so you can easily compile your assets and uh, you can minify all the JS uh, let me show you minified JS in the public directory you can see it the uh, assets JS and see here the minified JS you can see here all the JavaScripts this is minified by Laravel mix uh, you need to just npm install for installing a Laravel mix and you can see your package.json file which is a default provided by Laravel and some uh, package SAS, SAS loaders and some other a Laravel mix are default given in Laravel application now in the new version I think Laravel mix supported after uh, Laravel 6.0 and more and uh, just you need to install npm and then npm run development and minify all the JS and compile this says to CSS by Laravel mix and create a new version in the public directory so Laravel mix is a uh, very useful you can optimize and improve your performance and write neat and clean codes now everything is compiled and if you want to make a build in production just you need to pass prod so it's uh, create a production build and minify everything and other people not guess easily the your javascript and css files so thank you for watching the video feel free to ask any question in comment box please like and share a video thank you